Hello. So, because of course I did, I decided to revisit this throwaway bridge design idea. I wasn't really trying to do anything serious with it originally, but eh, there was an opportunity to over-engineer it, so why not? So here we go. So this is the, the small grid block version of the same thing. So if for those of you who saw the last bridge idea, it was just all small or large grid blocks that was extending out to the Njord over here. And it would just slam into the uh, ship and then sometimes work, sometimes not. It depends on how you park this. Uh, it more or less worked. Well, since then, I had the glass in and there was problems with that one being in the way. And it's like, hey, let me just redo the thing. One thing led to another and then I ended up with this funky contraption right here. So let me show you what happens. I press the buton, and it does require two buttons here. So the first one to extend, the other one to retract. So here we go. It's still a little funky, and it still slams into the uh, ship over here, but <laughs> it does get over the railing now. Uh, so. It's a series of uh, hinges, rotors, and pistons to make this work. And it's a series of problems being solved and things running into each other. And it's close enough, uh, but this, I think, is good enough from, for what we have. Uh, also, from this side, you can also put the bridge back. And the reason there's two separate actions for this is the pistons have to yeah, I'll explain that in a second. The pistons have to retract first before the bridge collapses, otherwise it gets into a spaghetti mess. Uh, so in order for this to extend over the lip of the railing over there, first I have to whip part of this quicker than the other. Um, so let me show you what that looks like. So the bridge has to get way up and over the lip before that extends into it. So if it doesn't go that quickly, it just slams into the bottom part and never quite gets over that lip. So that's what's going on there. Um, and because I couldn't be bothered to have different speeds on the reverse end of it, which I'm not even sure if you can do that. Maybe you can, I don't know. As far as engineering goes, I mean, I think the rule is, of course you can, of course you can do everything. But, uh, so you press the bottom one, then the pistons retract the railings, and then it goes in reverse and retracts back into it. So the last bit of this that I was thinking of is that if you're flying in and then you're landing this, well, yes, you can call for for bridge control for the station or whatever. It's like, you know, what if you could retract that from in here? So I added a, a, a button for extending the bridge uh, from within the ship. So while the ship is connected to the station, it gives you control of that kind of thing. So there you go. So I'm sure this could be made a little less sloppy, but you know what? Good enough. I think that's good enough. <laughs> all right. Thank you all for watching.